Imagine a world where dinosaurs still roam the earth. Sounds absurd, right? Yet, some businesses behave as if they are immune to the passage of time and the winds of change. Just like in the natural world, the business landscape is in a constant state of flux. The forces that shape it, technology, consumer behavior, market trends, are relentless and unforgiving. They don't care about your past successes, your established brand, or your loyal customer base. They demand one thing and one thing only, adaptation. The business world is not a friendly place for the complacent. Those who rest on their laurels, who cling to outdated business models, who dismiss the latest technology as a passing fad, they're the modern day dinosaurs. They're the ones who are left behind, who become mere footnotes in the annals of business history. Take the case of Blockbuster, the once dominant movie rental chain. They laughed off the threat of digital streaming, confident in their physical stores and DVD rentals. And where are they now? A relic of the past, a symbol of what happens when businesses refuse to evolve. Or consider Kodak, the company that once ruled the world of photography. They invented the digital camera, but they failed to recognize its potential, fearing it would cannibalize their film business. They chose to bury their heads in the sand, and in doing so, they buried their business. These are not isolated incidents. Their cautionary tales, stark reminders of the consequences of stagnation. They underscore the reality that change is not just inevitable, but essential. It's the lifeblood of business. The key to survival in a world that never stands still. So the question is not whether your business will face change. It's not if, but when. And when that time comes, Will you be ready? Will you adapt and evolve? Or will you cling to the past and risk extinction? We'll delve deeper into the stories of these fallen giants, examining where they went wrong and what we can learn from their mistakes. We'll explore the importance of embracing change, of staying agile and adaptable, of constantly learning and innovating. So, are you a business dinosaur or are you ready to evolve? From the graveyard of corporate giants, let's resurrect some stories of businesses that failed to adapt. Remember Blockbuster? Once a titan in the video rental industry, it's now a ghost of the past. It had the chance to buy out a fledgling Netflix for a mere $50 million, but it laughed off the opportunity. In the face of the digital streaming revolution, Blockbuster clung to its brick-and-mortar model and faded into obscurity. Then there's Kodak, the name that was once synonymous with photography. Despite inventing the digital camera, Kodak failed to transition from film to digital. They underestimated the potential of their own creation, blinded by the profits from film. This miscalculation cost them dearly, leading to bankruptcy in 2012. Let's not forget about BlackBerry. Once the go-to device for business communication, it lost its foothold in the smartphone market. It was a classic case of complacency, as they underestimated the consumer appeal of touchscreen technology. Apple and Android surged ahead while BlackBerry got left in the dust. And who can overlook the cautionary tale of Toys R Us? The iconic toy store couldn't keep pace with the online shopping revolution. It, its failure to invest in e-commerce and adapt to changing consumer shopping habits led to its downfall. These examples are not just tales of business failures, but lessons in the consequences of resisting change. They illustrate the dangers of complacency, the perils of underestimating competition, and the risks of misreading market trends. These businesses were all once leaders in their respective industries, yet they all fell prey to the same fatal flaw, an inability to adapt to change. These businesses serve as harrowing reminders that no company, no matter how large, is invincible to change. The ghosts of these business past should serve as a stark warning to all. In the world of business, it's adapt or perish. And as we'll explore in the next scenes, there's an art to this adaptation. An art that if mastered can secure not just survival, but sustained success. The advent of the digital age brought a tsunami of change sweeping away those who failed to ride the wave. This wave, my friends, was no ordinary one. It was a digital tsunami, a relentless surge of technological advancements that transformed the business landscape forever. Consider, for instance, the story of Borders. Once a titan of the retail book industry, Borders was a beloved spot for bookworms worldwide. But as the digital era dawned, a new player emerged on the scene, e-commerce. People started to buy books online, 
and ebooks became increasingly popular. Instead of adapting, Borders made a fatal mistake. They outsourced their online sales to Amazon, effectively handing over their customers to the competition. As e-commerce grew, Borders' relevance dwindled, and by 2011 they had filed for bankruptcy. Then there's the tale of Nokia, a name that was once synonymous with mobile phones. Nokia was the undisputed market leader, but as the world was transitioning towards smartphones, they hesitated. They clung to their tried and tested operating system, while competitors like Apple and Samsung embraced the new wave of smartphones. This reluctance to adapt to the changing market dynamics saw Nokia's market share plummet, and they were eventually bought out by Microsoft in 2013. Both these stories highlight the brutal reality of the digital tsunami. It's a wave that's reshaping industries, altering consumer behavior, and redefining success. It's a wave that requires businesses to be agile, to embrace change, and to continuously innovate. The digital age is not just about technology. It's about understanding how this technology changes the way we live, work, and do business. So, what can we learn from the stories of Borders and Nokia? It's simple, really. In the digital era, adaptation is not just a strategy, it's a necessity. Businesses that fail to ride the digital wave risk being swept away into the depths of obscurity. The digital wave is relentless and unforgiving to those who resist its pull. So, let's learn to surf, shall we? So what can we glean from these tales of failure? Well, for starters, we see that resistance to innovation is a common thread in many of these stories. When companies stick to what they know, ignoring new technologies or market trends, they run the risk of becoming obsolete. Remember, the world is in perpetual motion and what worked yesterday may not work tomorrow. Embracing innovation, even when it seems risky or unfamiliar, is a key aspect of remaining relevant and competitive. Another lesson is the danger of misreading market demands. Several of the companies we've discussed misinterpreted their customers' needs or failed to anticipate shifts in consumer behavior. Always keep your finger on the pulse of your market. Stay in touch with your customers, ask for their feedback, and really listen to their responses. Your customers can be your best source of information about what's coming next. And let's not forget about competition. Underestimating your competitors or failing to recognize new players entering the field can be a fatal mistake. Stay aware of who your competitors are, what they're doing, and how they're performing. Business isn't a solitary game, it's a race, and you need to know who you're up against. But perhaps the most important lesson is the need for proactive change management and strategic planning. It's not enough to react to changes as they come. Successful businesses anticipate change and plan for it. They create flexible strategies that can pivot with the market, and they foster a culture that sees change not as a threat, but as an opportunity. And finally, leadership plays a crucial role. Leaders set the tone for the entire organization. They must be willing to take risks, to challenge the status quo, and to inspire their teams to do the same. Indeed, the lessons are clear. Adapt or face extinction. Change is inevitable, but failure is not. By learning from the past, we can better navigate the future. So let's take these lessons to heart and use them to build businesses that are resilient, adaptive, and prepared for whatever comes next. So how can businesses avoid the fate of the dinosaurs and navigate the ever-shifting sands of change? The answer is simple yet challenging to implement. It requires a commitment to continuous learning, ceaseless innovation, and a willingness to pivot business strategies in response to external changes. It's about being open to possibilities, embracing new ideas, and daring to step outside the comfort zone. Consider it like this. In the world of business, adaptation is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process. It's akin to a dance, a delicate balance of moving with the rhythm of the market, carefully anticipating its ebbs and flows. And just like any dance, the art of business adaptation requires practice, patience, and above all, persistence. Now, what role does leadership play in this dance of adaptation? A pivotal one indeed. A company's ability to adapt is often a reflection of its leadership. Leaders who foster a culture that embraces change and innovation are more likely to steer their organizations toward success. They are the captains who can navigate their ships through stormy seas, always ready to adjust the sails as the wind changes. 
They understand that clinging to outdated practices or resisting technological advancements is a recipe for decline. Instead, they encourage curiosity, risk-taking, and experimentation. They champion the exploration of new horizons, knowing that the future belongs to those who dare to innovate. But let's not forget adaptation is not about blindly following every trend or haphazardly implementing every new technology. It's about discerning which changes are relevant, which ones will add value to the organization, and which ones will enhance the customer experience. It's about making informed decisions based on a deep understanding of the business landscape and a clear vision of the future. So as we delve into the art of adaptation, let's remember that it's an integral part of the business journey. It's about staying agile, staying curious, and staying ahead. Remember, learning from the failures of others can equip you with the insight to navigate change successfully and secure your future. So, will you adapt or will you become another business fossil?